third phase moon's late cousin, some strange things have been falling from the sky, reported right here from the Big Island of Hawaii. Apparently, people are witnessing a strange green gem landing or being found upon their property on the Big Island. People are wondering what is going on, so people are speculating that there's been some eyewitnesses out there saying that there's something strange, a green gem falling from the sky. We're going to find out exactly what this is all about. It's been reported in a few tweets that gemstones are raining from the sky, specifically olivine, onto the ground. Plenty have been wondering if this is actually legitimate or is this some kind of process that isn't possible. Well, according to Erin Jordan, she says friends of mine living in Hawaii next to the area were impacted by uh, the most recent lava flows in the midst of destruction nearby a stress of unknown. They woke up to this tiny pieces of olivine all over the ground. It's literally raining gems. Nature is truly amazing. Well, the true fact is that olivine is actually already everywhere in Hawaii. Over time, as basaltic lava is weathered down, its a mineral inclusions fall out, including olivine. In fact, geologists and volcanologists were quick to point out on Twitter that there's an entire beach made of olivine on the Big Island. Yeah, exactly. It's called the Green Sands. Are these emeralds or olivines falling from the skies? Well, we're not exactly sure. We have yet to find this out ourselves, but we're going to find out a little bit more here. I think it's coming out of either in the air, which civilians on the ground have said, or breaking free upon impact. Krittner told the IFLS Science, it's probably not down to weathering as this should take longer. If it's breaking free on impact, it's likely escaping from pieces of freshly cooled scoria, lava formed rocks that's peppered with small holes called vesicles, olivine which is crystallized out of the magma earlier as it's chilled. It's just hitching a ride out of hell. Stovall pointed out to the IFLS science, however, that the presence of olivine raining down is based on a second-hand report. It hasn't been observed by any of the USGS geologists, who also have said yet to see crystals like this on the ground. The lava is coming entirely out of fissure 8 at the one standing as Dr. Wendell Stovall, a senior with the United States Geological Survey, told us a few days ago that the focusing of the lava infusion on one single fissure is typically for this kind of eruption. The fluidity gas nature of the exceedingly hot magma is representing itself at this fissure by creating lava fountains higher than a 20-story building and plenty of that is raining down material down on the landscape. Now, could these green olivine gems being spotted around the neighborhood be fat? Or could it be just olivine spread out as Mother Nature does in its regular way? I want to get your guys' opinions. And if anybody sees a high nature of olivine in their front yard, and if you're on the Big Island, I want to get a report from you right here at Third Phase Moon. Reach out to us. In this photograph about a week ago from the USGS, they captured a definitely some lava being captured within a twig. Definitely is an olivine. It isn't a green gemstone. But it does make the question wonder, could volcanoes create gems? Well, apparently volcanoes create diamonds, so you never know. Could you just imagine if people woke up one morning living next to Fisher Aid and they were found in the morning plenty of diamonds found in their front yard now that would be a miracle now I got this one UFO video I wanted to share with you it came to our Facebook via Jose Jose uh, Guerrero and Guerrero lives in Glendale California and captured this unusual object uh, basically streaking along the sky it almost looks like a typical airplane but it does seem to be illuminated so we're going to take a look at this. In the beginning, I was like, okay, well, it's just maybe an airplane, but something strange happens right now. So take a look at this. Okay, you, and now it is flying in reverse. Okay, this is coming in from Glendale, and it was captured this week. If 
anybody saw anything strange in the skies over at Glendale, I want to see it. Again, it's uh, on its pathway. Again, let's just look at this again one more time. I want to get a closer look of the event. We're going to watch it right now. It does seem to hover and then change direction. It's very weird. Some people might speculate it's some kind of new aircraft that we have in our arsenal, some maybe alien technology. I'm not exactly sure. It de definitely looks weird. Hey Blake, check it out. I'm still looking at it. I'm glad I just stopped in. Look at how it stops and I'm... Go. Blake, check it out. Uh, I think there's something going on here. I think we're looking at an illusion. It's not actually stalling in the air. It could be a drone, something anti, some anti-military weapon, but I do believe this is an optical illusion. Yeah, I, I, I think I hear what you're saying here. When I'm looking at it closer, I do see that they're filming it from within car. So I I'd imagine right now somebody's actually pulling it up in reverse, and it is create creating some kind of illusion. And then they stop the car, and then it re uh, continues its forward direction. So. Again, I again think it's captured from within a car, and somebody was reversing, and it made it appear that this thing was actually changing direction. One yeah, more I don't time. think it's a hoax that they're trying to produce a hoax, but they captured something that's definitely interesting. I just think there's a parallax going on here that makes it look like this object is suspended in the sky. So yeah, we're gonna have to say probably not a plane going in reverse just a, a optical illusion but maybe it's not maybe it is a genuine ufo i don't see any kind of fusel uh, wing or tail on it so it is kind of weird and you never know these things out there have been known to do crazier things than what we're seeing right now so thanks jose Guerrero for sharing this to our third phase moon facebook hopefully this helps out if you captured anything amazing out there, send it to us right here at Third Phase Moon. We've got more updates from around the world. We've got a lot of good UFO videos, so we're going to get to that and more updates from the Big Island of Hawaii in regards to Kilauea. Stay tuned, everybody. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. 